Jesus, we thank you for bringing us together today. That which only you can do, Father, come and do it in our midst. Amen. Minister to every life by yourself. Amen. Lord Jesus, according to the word, the word of that song, ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Let the ancient world impact. Lord, I ask for impactation in this message. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let people's lives be transformed. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Today we'll be sharing with you what I call benefits of rising early. Benefits of rising early to pray. The benefits or benefits of rising early. Psalm 119, very quickly. Read three scriptures to lay the foundation of this message. Psalm 119, I read verse 147. Psalm 119, verse 147. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your word. The psalmist, he said, he rises before the day breaks. Why did he rise? To cry for God's help. He cried for help. Then, because he has cried, because communication is known to be two ways, you have cried for help, then it is necessary you wait for reply. I wait for your words. I wait for your words. Micah, your book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Woe to those who scheme iniquity, who work out evil on their beds. When money comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. For it is in the power of their hands. Woe to those who scheme iniquity, who work out evil on their beds. When money comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. Of their, of their hands. Now we read two scripture showing two categories of people. The psalmist rise up early to pray to God asking for God's help. And because he has asked for help, he, wait, he awaits the word of the Lord, the answer to his prayer. And here in the book of Micah we see another category that rise up early in the morning to do mischief. So there are two categories of people that make that take advantage of early hour of the morning. The people that are seeking God's help and people that want to perpetrate evil. Both groups wake up early in order to do whatever they want to do. Unfortunately, the children of God most children of God are ignorant of the fact that it is good to rise up early to pray. So thereby, the enemy, most times, take advantage. They rise up early and take charge of the day. In, I mean, at the detriment of the children of God. We are children of God. And the scripture says, my people. He didn't say the people of the world. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people. He didn't say the people of the world. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let's look at what the book of Mark says. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. This is the best example we can, we can get. Mark 1 35. Mark 1.35 And I would like us to read it together. You can look at the screen. Let us read it together. 
Mark 1.35. Can we go one, two? Let's go now. And in the morning, rising up a great war before the day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. Speaking of Jesus, I read the version I have here. It says, in the early morning, in the early morning, why it is still dark? Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. Jesus rose up early in the morning. When it is still dark, when it was still dark, he got up, left the house, went to a secluded place, Pray. This is Jesus. If Jesus recognizes the power of early morning prayer, and Jesus happened to be God himself, what happens to we mortal being? Then if we are not taking advantage of this early morning prayer, early hour of the morning, praying to God, we may not get adequate results. We may not get desired results. Wisdom, it is said that it is profitable to what? To direct. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Jesus rose up early in the morning. Why didn't he wait when the sun comes out before he goes out to pray? He knew the power that resides in praying early in the morning. There is, I mean, you will get different results when you are able to rise up early to pray than when you pray the normal time. You will get better results. Early morning or our early morning hour is a special time. It's a special time full of lots of spiritual activities. Full of lots of spiritual activities. It is that part of the day where decisions are made for or against people's destiny. Early hour. It is that part of the day where decisions are made for or against people's destiny. Some people rise up like the, the psalmist to pray early in the morning to ask for God's help. Maybe for his family. So destiny has been affected positively through that such, of, such prayer. Some people rise up, like we read in the book of Micah, rise up in the morning, early in the morning, to perpetrate evil. That kind of rising up is against people's destiny. So that is why I say early hour of the morning is the time of different kinds of spiritual activities. Spiritual activities for and against people's destiny. For and against people's destiny. Whether we like it or not, there are people that wake up that stay late in the night and ensure that they have meeting in order to control people's life before the day breaks. Ignorance will tell somebody that it doesn't happen. It doesn't, it, 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 I mean, it's not... It's not, a, uh, it's not a reality. But I tell you, it's what happens every night. Every night. So, every day, we must try as children of God to rise up early to pray. Early hour of the morning is the time to exercise dominion. Dominion. What, does, what, what is dominion? Dominion is to reign over a terrain, over a territory, to rule over a place. So it's time to, over, oh, I mean, to exercise dominion over your environment, the place you live. This city will take dominion, will decree into the day what we want to happen. It is a time of different kinds of spiritual transactions, both good and evil. Early hour of the morning. Early hour of the morning. 
is a time of negotiation. People negotiate how the day is going to be. They negotiate what the appointment for the day is going to look like. The dawn is the period of both positive and negative meetings. Positive and negative meetings. Whether we like it or not, when the children of God gather together to pray, that is a positive meeting. When the children of the devil gather together to cause their havoc, that is negative meeting. So it is a time of both negative and positive meeting. Early hour of the day is the time to program all the program things into the womb of the day. The time to program. You can program what you want for that day into the womb of the day. Early hour of the morning. You can program it. To program or the program. When I say the program, it's possible somebody has risen up early to program negative things against you. You can rise up and the program it. It shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. That is what Matthew 7, 7 says. It shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. So you decree that that thing that has been programmed against you will not stand. Will not come to pass. So it is a time to program or to program into the womb of the day. It is considered early hour of the morning. It is considered as the time of important discussions and decisions. The time of important discussions and decisions. Sometimes, I don't know if somebody has done it here before, but sometimes when you have serious discussion to make, or to, to, you want to have serious discussion with somebody, maybe your spouse or something, Sometimes you wait till midnight where everywhere is quiet and each the person by the side say hello. Can we have a talk? Everywhere is quiet. So the person will take you more seriously at that time than during the day where everything, everywhere is busy. That is any hour of the morning. It's a time for important discussions and to make important decisions. It is the period of angelic and demonic activities. Angels walk early hours in the day of the morning. Demons too, they were sent, they sent them on errands early hours of the day. What is the early hours of the day that I'm talking about today? And how do we benefit from it? Early hours of the day start. The day starts from what time? 12 midnight. Is it? Hello? From 12 midnight. Have you bothered to ask yourself if anyone is here that knows about spiritual activities, especially for the evil ones? They don't hold their meeting during the day. Praise the name of the Lord. They don't do what? They do not hold their meeting during the day. Most times they start their meeting at 12. And at most they end it at 3 a.m. They start most times their meeting at 12. And end most times at 3 a.m. Most times they don't go beyond that time. So it is good for a child of God to stay awake till 12 midnight. It's possible you go to bed at 9 or 10, but ensure that you stay away from 5 minutes to 12. And you pray into the new day, taking charge of that day before the evil ones start their own meeting. Because whether you like it or not, they will do their own meeting. They don't need the permission of anybody. Whether we like it or not, they do their own meeting. And they don't miss it. 12 midnight to 3 p.m., they have their meeting. So, they program things against people's life. 
They plant negative things in people's life. That is why the scripture says, Why men slept? His enemies came. Why did he wait for him to sleep? Because he knew that is a time of no activity. Everybody has, you know, retired to the bed. You want to have a nice sleep. It's good to have a nice sleep. But at the same time, we must not be spiritually ignorant of what happens, the transactions that takes place at night. So, it is good to wake up at that 12 midnight, if it's 15 minutes, if it's 30 minutes, if it's one hour, you pray with faith. Program what you want for that day into that day. And make a decree and declaration that as I go to bed, if there be any counter alteration, I mean utterances against my prayer, let the judgment of God speak. Let the fire of God visit such a place. I tell you, if we begin to do this as often as possible, we begin to get better results. We begin to get better results. Another time, if, for instance, there is a day you miss 12 midnight, make sure you rise up early before 5 a.m. or latest 5 a.m. and pray earnestly, pray fervently to deprogram whatever that has been programmed against you during the night or early hour of the morning and you program what you want into the day that this is what I want today. This is what I want today. It is very, very, very important. So, if you can do it early hour of the morning, 12 midnight, speak to the atmosphere. Say, today I speak to you. This, 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 this is what I want. And you go back to bed. Speak in faith. Pray in faith. The Bible says in the book of Mark, Mark chapter 11, say, whenever you stand to pray and believe, say, whatever you ask in prayer, you shall receive. Praise the name of the Lord. So it doesn't mean that it has to be two hours before you get results. You pray the prayer in faith. Make the utterances in faith. And the Lord will back it up for you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So it is a period of angelic and demonic activities. Early hour of the morning is a time of dreams and revelations. Good and bad. Sometimes you have good dreams. Sometimes you have bad dreams. It's the time of revelation. That's the time. That's the time. Revelations. Dreams. It is a time of quietness and tranquility. But it is also a period of spiritual violence and uproar. It's a time of silence or quietness and tranquility. But it is also a time, a period of spiritual violence in the kingdom of darkness, even in, this, in, this, in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Unfortunately, he not said the last statement, say, but it's only the violence that are taking it by force. Only the violence that are taking it by force. So, both violence from the spiritual, I mean, from the kingdom of darkness, violence from the kingdom of God. Light against darkness. It is a time of quietness. Most time at night, everywhere is quiet. In fact, if you have grace to pray at that time, you will pray better. You will reason better. Because there is no distraction. During the day, your children can be jumping everywhere. During the day, you can be hearing the you know, sound of, of vehicles moving around. But at night, it's a time of quietness, tranquility, it's peaceful at night. And you can pray and get better results. It is a time 
to get better attention every hour of the morning. It is a time to get better attention from heaven. Why? 90% of people are already asleep. You that have the grace to stand to pray, you get better attention from heaven. During the day, so many people are praying. But you that have the grace to pray at night, you get better attention. You get, heaven will give you better attention at night. And there is power in night prayer. In early morning prayer, there is power. There is power in it. If you can exercise it. It has been said that anyone that can rise up to pray and have a VG, we call it VG, when you stay at night to pray, it's like having a dry fasting. Where you can wake up at night and you summon spiritual strength to pray. It is very, very important. It may not be easy. That is the truth. Because the body wants good rest. But we need discipline to achieve it. If at all times we yield to what the flesh wants, we will not be able to discipline ourselves and to move up spiritually. So it is the time to get better attention from heaven. Because 90% of the earth, 90% of earth population will probably be asleep at that time. No wonder. The book of Job 38. God asks Job a question that we are going to ask ourselves now. God asked Job a question. Job 38. Let's open to Job 38. It's a very salient question. Job 38. We read verse 1. We jump to verse 12 and verse 13. We are reading verse 1 for us to know that it was God that started the conversation. Or the questioning. Job chapter 8 and Job 38 verse 1. 12 and 13. If you are there, say amen. amen. Okay, I read. It says, Then the Lord answered Job out of the white wind and said, So this is God speaking to Job, not a man, not a prophet. Now, jump to verse 12. Because that is where we want to use. You can read you all of that chapter when you get home. But jump to verse 12. He said, have you commanded the money since your days? It means since you were born. Have you commanded the money and caused the day spring that the source of the money to know its place? Hello? Look at me. That scripture is saying that Job, you can command the money and tell the money, tell the day how it should be. You should tell the day, let the day spring know its place. Whatever you permit is permitted. Whatever you disallow is disallowed. That is why the scripture says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So have you since thy days commanded the money and caused the day spring to know his place. So you can rise up early a man or a woman that will command the money will not wake up in the afternoon. Will not wake up when the sun is already out. You will wake up when it's still morning. You will wake up when it's early enough and command that money. I mean, God was telling you, you can command the money. When you command the money, you have commanded the whole day. You have commanded the whole day. Have you commanded the money since your days? And caused the day spring to know its place. Verse 13. Very, very important. 
Look at that verse 13. Look at verse 13. It said that it may take hold of the ends of the head. So the benefit of commanding the money is that it might take hold of the ends of the head and that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Hello? The essence of commanding the money is to take hold of the ends of the head, the four corners of the head, and whatever wickedness in that money will be shaken out because you have commanded it. Wisdom is profitable to direct. And wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. So, you are getting some knowledge. You have to apply. When you command the money, the money, your command will make it, the, the money to the me. It will take hold of the ends of the head. And whatever negative thing, see, this life is more spiritual than physical. Whatever negative things, whatever discouragement, whatever disappointment, whatever sickness, whatever bad luck has been programmed into it will be shaken off because you have made a command. Listen to me. There is what is called open heaven. But there is personal open heaven. There can be, open heaven is a general world. But a man can operate under personal open heaven. A man that operates under personal open heaven is a man that has learned the science of commanding the money. So when negative things are happening to people around him, he will be singled out. Just as the book of Job said, Job 22, I think verse 30, he says, and when men say there is a cast down, you shall say there is a lifting. Because you have learned the technology of commanding the money, and you have commanded the money, and the, it has taken hold of the ends of the head, and all the negative things, all the disappointments, all the failures have been shaken out of it for your sake. Not for the sake of everybody. Except for the sake of people that you included in that prayer while you are making your money decree and your money command. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Command the money. Command the money. So God knew there are wickedness in the hands of the heads. And the only thing that can make those wickedness to be shaken away is for you to command the money. And you don't command the money at 8 a.m. No, it's already done. You do it early. If you cannot make it 12, 12 midnight, please, before 5 a.m. If not, the other people, they have done what they wanted to do and they have gone. Wisdom. Is profitable to direct. Listen to me. You take advantage of this vital and sensitive period of the day by rising early to pray. That's the way you can take advantage. By rising early to pray. Rise early to program the day in your favor. You can program every day in your favor. You can. That is why we have that video praying into the new month. I think Wednesday is the last day of the, of the month. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? I think it's Thursday. So that video we hold this month. That's the reason we pray that prayer. We pray, we do that video. Pray to enter the new month. Take authority over the new month. Don't wait till the new month comes. Oh, it's new month already. 12 midnight, pray into that new month. And that is the way to take hold of the ends of the head and shake off the wickedness that is in that month right from the first hour of the month. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What some people call bad day actually started from their dream. Praise the Lord. Sir, so, this is a bad day. No, it started... Because he did not stand up to command the money. What some people call bad, they started in their dream. 
started early in the morning. But if you can dare to rise up, command the money in your favor, everything will work well. Psalm 5 verse 3 says, In the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. In the morning, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will eagerly watch. I will eagerly, I mean, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. Genesis chapter 19, verse 27. Now Abraham, now Abraham, Genesis 19, 27. Now Abraham arose in the morning and went to the place where he had stood before the Lord. It means that Abraham had a meeting place with the Lord. And he knew the technology of praying in the morning. He has to pray, he has to rise up early and go and meet the Lord. And go and meet the Lord. Exodus chapter 8 verse 20. Say now the Lord said to Moses, rise early in the morning and present yourself before Pharaoh. As he comes out of the water and says to him, Thus said the Lord, let my people go and let them serve me. So God told Moses, address your Pharaoh early in the morning. I am saying the same thing to you. Whatever that stands like Pharaoh in your life, address it early in the morning. Don't wait till daybreak. Address it early in the morning. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. Acts 16, 25. Say, and at midnight, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises to God. They prayed and sang praises to God. Why did they wait until midnight? Because they knew the power that resides in praying at any hour of the morning. Don't forget, they have been arrested. They have been battered. They have been beaten. Yet, they knew that they need to do something for their freedom to come. They rose up at midnight. They prayed and sang praises to God. And what happened? And verse 20 says, and suddenly, that is what happened when you pray in the morning. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately at the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed because they prayed and sang praises. Power of early morning prayer. Power of early morning worship. Sometimes you might just wake up, you don't feel like praying, just sing worship to God. I tell you, that will travel faster. Because most times when you are praying, you are praying for yourself. But when you worship God, you are just worshiping his majesty. You are just calling him names. You are just telling him who he is to you. That goes faster to the throne of grace. Genesis 28 verse 16. Said then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. He has seen divine revelation. So that's why I said the early hour of the day is a time of dreams and revelation. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 19. Then they arose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord and returned again to their house in Ramah. And Ekana had, had relations with Anna, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. They rose up early to worship him, and the Lord remembered Hannah. They rose up early to worship him. Like I said earlier, you may not pray sometimes, just worship him, but let it be an heartfelt worship. 
There are worship you make that tears comes out of your eyes. That is the kind of worship. The one that touches your heart, that touches your heart. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Exodus 32. Exodus 32 verse 6. So the next day, they rose early and offered burnt offerings and brought peace, uh, pre-peace offerings and the people sat down to eat and drink and they rose up to play. So it is time early morning is a time of commitment, time of sacrifice. It is a time to sacrifice. You see, whenever you stay awake to pray, that's a great sacrifice. A great sacrifice. And we must learn to discipline our flesh to stay awake to pray. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians 5 14. He said, Why he said, Awake you that sleep and rise up from the dead and Christ shall give you light. I love that scripture. Ephesians 4 14. Ephesians 5, rather, 5 14. Why he said, Awake you that sleep it. Arise from the dead. Whoever that is sleeping is considered to be dead. Because most times you don't know what is happening around you. The same thing is with the dead person. Arise you that sleeps, arise from the dead. And Christ shall give you light. For Christ to give you light, you must arise first. You must wake up from the sleep. Listen to me. What I have just taught you today, this teaching, is the pathway of becoming a spiritual giant. The pathway of becoming a spiritual giant. This is the pathway of gaining spiritual stature. You want to have a new stature in the spirit. That is the pathway. It is the pathway of becoming victorious in every battle. I wrap up with this. Acts chapter 12 verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in the prison, but prayers was made without ceasing of the church for him. Every day, the Bible says prayer was made without ceasing. It means day and night they were praying. And verse 7 says, Behold, the angel of the Lord came on him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side. And raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chain fell off from his hand. When people intercede, be it in the night or early in the morning, deliverance take place. Deliverance take place. I want us to pray to God today. We are going to ask for the grace. The grace to have, to the grace and the strength to begin to, to, to harness the weapon of early hour, early morning hour prayer. We need to ask for that grace. Until we receive that grace, every little thing will fall asleep and we will not be able to take authority over the day. We will not be able to command the day. Like God asked uh, Job, say, Mr. Man, you have been complaining. <laughs> but have you, since your days, commanded the money? Have you, since your days, commanded the money? That it might take hold of the ends of the head, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Why don't you close your eyes? Begin to speak to the Lord. Say, I receive the grace. I receive the grace for early morning prayer. I receive the grace for early morning prayer. If you really desire, you begin to talk to God. I receive the grace for early morning prayer. I receive the grace. <laughs> Pray it with passion. The prayer that does not touch your heart cannot touch the hand of God, cannot move the hand of God. I receive the grace 
for early morning prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the grace to rise up early to pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, sleep shall not take, shall not have better a part of me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of slumber, I cast you out of my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace. I receive the grace. I receive the grace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Why don't you lay your right hand on your chest. And say this after me from the depth of your heart. Say, by the help of the Holy Spirit. I want to hear you loud and clear. Say, by the help of the Holy Spirit. As from today, I receive the grace to rise up as to command the money, to program what I want into the day in my favor. As from today, the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The sound of the wickedness shall not afflict me. The Lord will arise for my help. As I cry unto God every early hour of the day, my personal heaven shall open. I will have better results. And I will enjoy God like never before. I receive grace to become spiritual giants. I receive grace to, be, to have a change of stature in the spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? Just bless him. Bless him. Malish Kabali Yata. Zeli Tatalike Bushke Lita Handal Yabu Zantalia. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, as your children have prayed, let that grace be released upon them to pray early in the morning and begin to have better results on the altar of prayer. As from today, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Let this week be a better week for you. As you rise up early to pray, let there be dumbfounding result in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be result that will daze you and will surprise even your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Jesus' holy name we pray.